Hello and welcome to episode 4 of our Siren Bar campaign. In the last episode, we officially united all of the deep woods, except for this, but our colonist is on the way. Right? What? Why not? What do you mean I have no colonist? I think I just processed what I did last time. I abandoned exploration ideas before I uh, colonized this. Uh, these are pre-recorded, by the way, so it, I'm very sure that there were many people in the comments that said, Hey, Poly Mew, what are you doing? You haven't colonized everything yet. So, yeah, we're going to have to waste points. Um, My bad. There we go. Get that back. Send them back here. <laughs> and do that. And then we'll choose our second idea group. Wow, what a realization. It literally just hit me as I was doing the intro. So that was uh, all part of the plan. It's all part. Of, it's always part of the plan, all right? If I ever do anything dumb, just assume it's a big brain play. Even if it's, you know, very clearly not. Uh, anyways, <laughs> so we're going to colonize that. Uh, we went to war with Corvuria. We took this province off of them and some money. Rosonde was up here. They're dead now, but they were up here. We took this and we integrated all of our vassals. And now we are at a point where I was going to complete the Toward the Future mission, but I had to spend my admin points regaining the colonists. So now we have to wait for it. So yeah, great, great planning on my part. Uh, <laughs> I'm sure it's fine. There we go. Mission fulfilled. Oh, it's a different one. Secure the border. Oh, because we own all the Gladeway provinces. Okay. Uh, following the emergence of the Green Tide, many of the Gladeways leading into the Deep Woods were abandoned. We must remedy this by establishing control over the outward paths. In doing so, we will ensure the safety and security of the Deep Woods from other potential outside invaders. We gain one stab and 100 military power. Now the Oak Guard. Yeah, I need a fort in every single one of... Oh of the uh, entrances into the Deep Woods. And I completely missed this one, actually. We've had that for a while, just missed it. Rail Skulker is doing a little dance over here. Oh, they stopped. Sorry, they were they were embarrassed when I caught them doing that. Uh, let's move over there. There we go. Now we have Toward the Future. The unification of the Deep Woods and the establishment of the Oak Monarchy affords our king the unique opportunity of deciding upon the direction of the Wood Elven people. Hardliners among us advocate for a policy of strict isolation to ensure that something like the Green Tide will never happen again. Those with more liberal attitudes see the wonders that Kanor has to offer and argue for an, the adoption of a more open policy. Both directions will have serious consequences for the future of Sirenvar. Choose wise, Eminence. Okay. So we can either go down the open border policy path, or we can go down the isolationist path. Uh, I don't know what these do. Discipline? We would lose discipline. Uh-oh. That doesn't sound good. So, expert artisans, cosmopolitan elf, and the scepter, which we can't actually do yet. It is not implemented. Uh, let's go down the isolationist path. Yeah, we can preemptively strike people. We gain discipline. Yeah, 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 yeah. We're going isolationist policy. There we go. So, we can now no longer do any of these. But we can develop infrastructure. We have Adam Power. So the destruction wrought by the Green Tide has left the Deep Woods devastated. If we are to have any hope of creating a state capable of withstanding the threats that surround us, we must reverse this. Develop the realm so that our ancestors might be proud and our enemies wary of thinking about thoughts of invasions. So dev cost minus 15% for 50 years. We'll start the construction of a university in our capital for 50% of the cost and 200% of the time, and we gain some development as well. Remember the Fallen, we have at least 550 development. Uh, as Sirenvar continues to develop, we mustn't ever forget our ancestors. Through their selfless sacrifice, were our people saved. If not for them, then the Green Tide would have destroyed us. As the kingdom develops, we must commemorate their bravery through the great works erected in their honor. 50 admin power and 15 army tradition. Now, pro education, we just have to wait for that university to be built up. Why am I losing so much money? Why am I losing so much money? Uh, oh. Yeah, that would do it. Um, not sure when I got all those troops. But yeah. Being that far over would definitely, definitely hurt the old economy, wouldn't it? Yeah, so let's go ahead and delete some troops here. There we go, it brings us down below, and now we're making money again. Okay, that was weird. Um, yeah, I'm not sure, because I know we integrated uh, this guy. What was her name? Sela Aelin. 
But I don't know if they had that many troops or not. For a second there, I thought my forts were costing that much, and I was like, well, there's no way. There's no way our forts are that expensive. Also, we can delete this fort. Because we are going to build a new one right here. If I can, if I can click on it. Hypothetically, there we go. Hypothetically, we could build that. Uh, as for another idea group, uh, we are very far ahead on military points, so that kind of has to be what we go for. Is there any idea group that we need to take? Well, no, but we need plus 20% discipline, so that does mean that we need to choose a certain, certain couple of them. That means either offensive or quality, and I think we're going to go quality here. We go quality, and then we switch out... The expansion for economic and that gives us an additional five percent uh discipline which should get us just about there with an advisor so quality ideas it is quality these it is that also completes our first uh national idea which is private to marshal every private has a marshal's baton in his back well perhaps not exactly but for those who distinguish themselves in battle promotion and rewards will follow the troops know this and are inspired by it plus 10 percent infantry combat ability. oh that was for that one i read the wrong one Shoot, I was like, wait a second, that doesn't seem right. Uh, the grand opening, that would be the correct one. Our time in isolation has seen the world change drastically from when our ancestors first entered the shattered bows of the deep woods. Though we have managed to set aside our petty squabbles and unite, we find ourselves still under threat. We shall open the deep woods to the peoples of Kanor, so that we might learn from their wisdom, lest we stay stuck in our backwards ways and find ourselves threatened beyond our ability to defend. Yeah, I think what you're, like, the more canon way to do it would be to go open but uh since it's the open tree isn't fully done yet we might as well explore the isolationist tree and in the future we may come back to siren bar at some point all right we gain some cav combat ability bersartan Shis is moving their way up 444 not too bad again we have a huge clouded eye on our border very big so these uh these forts are gonna have to do their job that's for sure we're we still coring this we are huh taking a while these are Humies. That's fine. We'll let the Humies stay. We don't have a problem with the Humies. As long as you're not Orcish or Goblin. And we do have quite a few Orcish provinces still left. We're, we're getting rid of them, though. Slowly but surely. Slowly but surely. Uh, take tech. Yep, go ahead and take Diplotech there. Ooh, you want something. What do you want? Uh, I'm not going to take Brickle Scum Deer. That's, it's not in my interest to do so. Not yet, at least. Uh, for this... Uh, justified wars, I guess. All right, the university is built. So the ever-growing needs of the state require an almost inexhaustible amount of well-educated bureaucrats. In order to ensure that our population is able to fill this demand, we will establish institutes of higher learning throughout Siren Bar. So we lose 200 admin points. We gain 10 prestige until the end of the game, minus 10% advisor cost, which uh, that counteracts the plus 10% we get from the Oak Monarchy. So that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Now, next mission, only the best. New military power and plus 20% discipline. Right now, we have plus 10%. So if we just finish, actually, if we just finish the ideas and have the advisor, then we're good. Hmm, okay. That's fine. Well, while we're sitting here, let's make sure we are, you know, doing something. We can start drilling our troops. Uh, we do have some rebels here, Black Moon rebels down in the south. So we'll send these two sacks down to help deal with those. How is this going? It's it's getting there. Slowly but surely, it's getting there. Very slowly. Very slowly. Okay, fort and fort and fort and fort. I'm gonna get one here that is in the process of building. Almost done. Then this building, this fort has to stay until that is ready to go. Loppy culprit. Okay, I think we're gonna have to uh, Go to the adventures here and we're gonna have to give them the holy paladins as the ghost problem is becoming a bit unbearable we definitely don't want to let that kind of stuff slip away because if it gets to the tier three of uh the adventurers wanted very very bad things can happen like i think on the zombies the tier three of zombies essentially makes the province useless and it's as if the province is completely controlled by zombies so uh yeah you don't want that you definitely don't want that Another comet? We can't see anything. We're in the deep woods. There's no such thing as comets. This is, uh, this is orcish propaganda. Not that the orcs would know. They come from the mountains. But uh, you can see comets in the mountains, by the way. If you didn't know. If you're playing the Serpent Spine, you absolutely can still get that, uh, get that event. I'm gonna take that. That's fine. We do need to develop up 
colonialism, which is a bit unfortunate, but that's okay. Uh, Black Moon Separatists are going to rise up soon. Let's make sure that they don't rise up on top of one of our guys, I'm just near it. I mean, that is a very, very good province, don't get me wrong, but I'm not here to accept goblins. Uh, do I have any goblin minorities still left in the country? I do not. I don't think. I don't see any. So at least we can go to the uh, da -da -da, racial tolerance and pop control, go to goblins, and we can cancel the expulsion. That way we don't have as much uh, reduction to our, what's it called, uh, admin efficiency. We are going to give out the clergy land rights and noble land rights here. That way we are not below or not above our governing capacity. That way I can afford to state everything up, up here and still be under it, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And that'll save us a lot of money too. Bring these two together, send them in, switch over this guy real quick. Thank you. We can get back to drilling right now. There we go. All right, you start to drill. And you guys, um, is there anywhere I can put them? Gotta be somewhere around here that has the uh, ability. Nope, there's not. There is not. Okay, well, let's just come back up here then. Uh, monetary reforms. Uh, we can lose two inflation. Sure, I'll do it. Uh, as for tech, yep, we'll take Diplo tech. There we go. Now we're catching up in technology. And then we'll take tech eight, and then we will be able to. Uh... Well, do we take tech eight? Maybe. Maybe not, though, because I'm. It just depends on when this colony finishes. We're still quite a ways off here. Only a plus five a year. Ugh. I wish there was a way to auto-colonize these, like through the mission tree, because it's kind of annoying to have to take expansion just to do this because the monsters or the people next to them could finish them for whatever reason. Uh, Corvurio, what are you doing? Why are you going to war with Blueheart? Oh, okay, because you're going to war with Galen. I was like, that makes sense, because Blueheart's in the middle of the, uh, the Empire, so how are you get into a fight with them. That would be very interesting. Right, we can hire another general. Ooh, wow. They're really good. I can take, like, three troops over, and they can start to drill. There we go. And then the other eight we do not need to pay for. Paid about two crowns a month. Okay, mission fulfilled. Which one have we fulfilled? Bone Grove. It costs 825 crowns for this. My god. All right, uh, the Bone Grove has long been the home of Clan Sanak, one of the least numerous but tightest knit of the Elves' clans. Though every wood elf quickly learns to navigate the tangle of roots and ferns that make up the deep woods paths, and the Bone Grove, they are forced to also learn to keep their balance when discarded femurs and tibias are added to the mix, and to mind that the dens of bones and skulls at the center of many a clearing. Despite the danger of the bone hoarders that inhabit these strange dwellings, this grove also has long held one of the greatest concentrations of goblins remaining in the forest. That's kind of weird. It's got groves of, of bones? Uh, okay. Internal trade. I need at least one center of trade level 3 and at least 50 mercantilism. So I'm going to assume, yes, is done through all of this. Now it gets up to 50. Okay. And here I need 800 development. Free policies. Okay. All good. This is a bit more of a plain tall. Definitely more plain tall. Though I will be expanding outside, I think, uh, creating vassals if I can. Well, maybe. <laughs> Not so sure about that now. Uh, what about on the exits? Anyone close? Like, semi-close? No, not really. Uh, gift to the state? Yeah, I'll take the money. Thank you. Go ahead and take admin tech. Sure. There we go. We're semi-caught up on uh, land now. All good. What is this province that you want autonomy in? Oh, no. I will pay the Diplo points to not have autonomy in the Silk Province, please. Uh, and I can actually probably go through and reduce autonomy everywhere. This is going to make lots of rebels, but it's fine. It will make us way more money in the long run. Way more money. Human migrates from Harpy Lynn. Oh yeah, sure, welcome. I, I don't blame you if you're not wanting to be in Harpy Lynn. They try and steal you to make babies. Come, settle here. Do work. Pay me taxes. That's what I really care about. I want their tax money. Uh, can I revoke land? Yes. Anyone loyal? Yes. Beautiful. Uh, what trade goods do we have? Okay. I think we might, and, and I know this is crazy, we might have some exotic wood here. Just a couple provinces. Just a few. 
Uh, okay. Yeah, that's that's a lot of exotic wood. It's a lot. Uh, how far off of Miltech are we? Three years? That's uh, fine. I'll take the innovativeness from this. And it completes another one of our national ideas. Uh, the Green Palace. So we have always been a divided people, more prone to tribal or familial loyalties than to any sense of national identity. The invasion of the Deep Woods by the Orcish Brutes changed that. Our division allowed them to run rampant, ruining the equilibrium of our home and threatening our relationship with the Fae. Now that we have driven out these beasts and the Verdant Pact is coalesced into a true union of the tribes, we must build a palace truly befitting the High King of the Deep Woods. Plus one yearly legitimacy. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. Now, Clouded Eye wants my land. Um, let's go ahead and build up some spy network on them if I can click on the right button. Just to know if they decide to attack me or not. I think we could beat them, but I'd rather not fight them. But if we are, I want to know. <laughs> I do want to know. All right, another mission completed. Good government policies. Uh, give me a stab, please. All right, the last one, Silent Lake Grove. The Silent Lake of Clan Elin has long been known as one of the most tranquil groves, at least along the shores. Elin, Elin Al, the traditional capital, has long been a place for elves to live out nostalgic memories of days in the Remnant Fleet. Its inhabitants have long spent their days sailing across the placid waters and fishing the bountiful waters to their heart's content. Uh, despite what one would expect of the Fae Forest, the open waters of the lake itself hold no significant threats to life or limb. The southern shore is noted for its swampier character, with looming mangrove-like leviathans towering from the waters, creating a tangle of roots far more perilous than the open waters. The southernmost part of the grove, near Sa Willahane, has long been a goblin stronghold, though the lake shores have remained elven since the initial conquest. Well, there are no more goblins there. That I can guarantee you. The second is up to the 50 mercantilism that I need for this. Uh, we are at 46, and have we done all of these missions? We have. So we're going to have to boost it manually a couple times. What is up with that? Manually boosting mercantilism? Uh, okay. This is painful. This hurts This hurts my soul in many ways to spend 400 diplo points on mercantilism, but uh, we've done it. We did what we had to do. Hello? Why are you losing a marblehead? Wow. Okay, well, that's interesting. Very interesting. Uh, yeah, I'm sure you do want Kandadiari. Um, I can't get to you though, so not interested. No, thank you. I'm good. What base tax? I'll give it to you. It's super expensive because it's a cave, but whatever. Port Mage dies. Uh, let's go back to an inflation guy if we have him. Let's try and get one. Uh, okay. Or not. Can I please get someone that's not level 3 and is an inflation guy? I beg of you, game. Please. Come on. No, I don't I don't want a theologian. I want yes, thank you. Oh my and then the trade guy just dies instantly. I want to get radical reforms. That is what I desire. I'm making 22 crowns a month here. Not too shabby. Do I still have an edict here? Oopsies. I do. How far along in this colony are we? Uh, decently long. Barbaria, hello. What if I were to declare war upon you? For money. I'll improve relations. That's fine. Uh, you know what? Declaring war for money does not seem like a terrible idea. They are behind on Miltech. Let's go ahead and do that. Gives us something to do, at least. Stop drilling the troops. And let's send them up to the front lines and get ready to go against Quiveria. We shall see what happens. Gnomish genius. We have gnomes here? Those freaking gnomes, they always find a way in here. Where? Where do I have gnomes? Show me them. Show me the gnomes. Where are they? I need to know. I think you only get this event if you have gnomish minorities, right? I'm not crazy. Ah, there they are. You pesky little gnomes. They always find a way in. Hmm. Yes, we will award your ingenuity for now. For now, we will. Over humiliate rival. Show these Corvarians what's up. Show them the might of Sirenvar. And, you know, all of our troops. And hopefully this time we don't lose to their, uh, their magical general. That would be bad. 
Uh, we don't need everyone to go in the fort, but I do need a lot of people because I'm afraid that they will attack me again. Okay, never mind. All of you get on there. They are sitting here ready to go to war. Or ready to fight, I should say. That is not good. Yeah, they are more than welcome to, to go down there and, and teach all of that. We do have a discipline guy here, so let's, let's hire him. Discipline is kind of our whole thing, and let's actually barrage this. I know we're trying to take an idea group here, but it's a mountain fort, so... They are taking everything they've got onto here. Defensive. Okay, they may just get that in one tick. Or two ticks. And we're sitting here not getting 71%. Are you serious? Okay. There we go. Let's take the fight to him, boys. Let's take the fight to him. Can I get a better general? Nope. Okay. This is what we've got. Let's embrace it. Let's go get him. Oh, please move deeper into the deep woods. I beg of you. Yes. Yes. Move deeper. Yes, 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 yes. Oh, you fools. Oh, there is no escape for you. Say goodbye to all of your troops. There is nowhere to... Okay, I was like, you better not be running out of the deep woods. You better not be running past my fort, you son of a gun. Nope. We're good. We're good. Send these guys up north. Hit these troops, and that's the war. Get back to occupying things. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Did I just say that got depleted? Where are you? Yeah, it did. Ooh, That's why I say that. Have more difficult points. Okay. We can split into two armies again. Make sure you both have a general of some kind. We can get back to beating up Corvuria. Again, all I want, buddy. Money and war reps. All I'm looking for. I don't really care about the Humiliate Rival or anything like that. I'm not here to get 100% Peace Deal. That will take way too long for me to do. Because I gotta go all the way over here and seize down Galen and all of that and blah 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 blah. Not interested. And so, these two need to retreat. They're gonna die. Uh, Moose Taxit, sure. You are willing to give me the money and the war reps. Thank you. Have a nice day, Corvaria. Thank you for funding the poem you fund. I appreciate it. Uh, we need it. Oh yeah, we gotta get back. We got noble rebels. We got noble rebels from the time that I decreased autonomy. And then I was like, you know how that might give us rebels? Yeah. They're here. They're not happy with my decisions that I have made about this country. And for that, I can't necessarily blame them. Can't necessarily blame them. Uh, can I prevent them from rising up though? Because if I can do that, that'd be... That'd be real great. That'd be real, real great. Just like, chill out, nobles. Okay? Just chill out. You still own land. There's no reason to be mad. Yeah. See? Meh. Wait, whoa. Bandit Marauders. Give us your gold. That means that we have a level 3 bandit somewhere. Uh-oh. Uh, let's go for... Do-gooders, I believe, are the ones that take care of bandits. Uh... Right? Or is it cell swords? Cell swords are chasing off bandits, yeah. Let's sponsor the cell swords then. I wish there was an easier way to see provinces in that have the, uh, oh, what's it called? These. Adventurers Wanted. Hard to see. You have to, like, go and click on every single province. It's harder for nations that are big. Uh, let's revoke some land. Get up to above 20. That's nice. You want some more development. You want a barracks. You want a workshop. Go for a workshop. That's fine. Can I see any other trade node now? I can. I will collect here, then. Sure. It'll make us, like, what, 0.1 or something? 0.02. Oh, uh, yeah, burn it all. Burn it all. Don't risk it. Don't risk it. Okay, we're almost there. Almost there. Corvaria, no longer a valid rival. Yeah, that's right. Oh, nice, and we finished that uh, colony. So let's go ahead and build up a fort. We can delete this one. And core it. And now I can officially, right, I can abandon this idea? Yes. Yes, I can. Okay, goodbye. Next one. Uh, economic. Give me some national tax. Give me some, some construction cost reduction. Alrighty. Not too shabby. Let's switch you up. And let's start to drill everybody on up here. Sounds good to me. Uh, can I fit all of you here? No. Can I fit half of you here? Also no? Well, maybe. Well, maybe with the dude. Uh, nope, I gotta get rid of one of these troops. Send them back out. 
Okay, this can fit another three. You can go out here and you can drill. You can fit an additional two. Yeah, an additional two. We'll make sure we're just want to make sure we're drilling as many people as we possibly can uh, with the amount of guys we can use. Uh, as for our Diplo tech, I don't think we're going to be taking it. I think we're going to have to focus on developing up colonialism. Because it will not naturally spread to us for a long, long time. I mean, it's just getting to Galen. So it probably spawned in... The Nail? Maybe Laurent, but I'm pretty sure for Nail. Oh. Fellow Elf. Fellow Elf, hello. Let me ally you. I want to be friends with Ibovar. I mean, we're the better elf, but like, you know, we could still be friends. Someone has to take care of the other elves, right? Why not us? Why not us? Okay, built, 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 built. Everything is built. We are secure. We are defended until they, you know, take that in a couple ticks. But we forget that, that happened. We ignore that. Uh, where do I want to develop the institution? Well, first, let's get this up to level three. Uh, that will complete a mission for us. Which one? I think it's it's up here. Yeah. So internal trade. Uh, the opening of the deep woods has seriously hindered our ability to profit from the fruits of our labor. If we were to have any hope of seeing trade thrive in our land, we must limit the ability of foreign merchants to exploit our resources. We must adopt whatever means necessary to advantage our merchants and limit the ability of predatory foreign merchants to exploit us. So we gain 100 diplo power. We gain five mercantilism. And we will improve every center of trade province in the deep woods, upgrading their center of trade level or developing them if they're already at maximum level. Okay, so we don't actually want to click that yet. We want these to be all level two. Wait, there's only one other one. Okay, well what the heck, game? You could have just said you're going to upgrade that one. What in the heck? Is that really it? Oh, this is a silver mine. Oh, this has more goods produced. Wait, do I have two gold provinces? No, I just developed the wrong province. That's embarrassing. Uh, okay, well, sure. We also gained five mercantilism, which is nice. So we now have two level three centers of trade. So most trade should be staying here in the old homeland, which is, you know, good. That's very good. Now a protectionist market. 75 mercantilism. <laughs> Uh, okay. And we need three level three centers of trade. I must have missed one then. I must have missed one. This center of trade? No. I don't know. Apparently we just have to move outside of the deep woods. It's just like this, right? That wouldn't be a too big of a loss. All right, so what I need, only the best. Yeah, just 20% uh, discipline. That is the uh, the goal here that we're waiting for. And now I can look at developing things. So, cows I'd rather not develop. Uh, even though it's gonna be more expensive here. That's already 17 development. It's actually, I mean, it's one above the best place to start. This is 12, which I think is the second best place to develop. So we'll encourage development here. We will develop it up to a large point. Uh, close enough. I don't wanna use mill points. I wanna take that idea first. Want to try and get that discipline up and rolling. That is the goal. Oh, hello. What are you doing here, you silly goose? What are you doing here? I mean, sure, I, I'll take this province. It will be our, our foray out of the deep woods. Da -da 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 -da. There we go, and we now have forts on all of the entrances as well. Or exits. Are the forts to keep people out, or are they to keep people in? Hmm, think about that one. So having assumed control of the outer gladeways, we should reinstitute the Oak Guard. This unit will maintain a constant vigilance upon the paths leading into the deep woods, thus ensuring that our lands will be adequately defended from any who would dare try to trespass into our wooded homeland. Gain one stab, lose 100 military power, and all the gladeways will have plus 20% local defensiveness until the end of the game, which is good. We still have quite a few Dukin provinces, which is disappointing to say the least. Now, do I have a mission where I need to have 100% religious unity? Because I would have sworn that I did see something like that. That would be fortunate. Are you a monster, by the way? Uh, No, you're not a monster. Okay, well then we'll take this province. And then I will... Wait, do you have cores on me? 
Shoot. I was gonna release them as a vassal. Um, I don't actually want this. Well, guess we have it now. <laughs> Too late now. I've made the decision. Now we've got it. All right, we are making 31 crowns a month. That is pretty freaking good for just sitting here and doing nothing. <laughs> uh, Corvoria, ooh, Ivavar, hello. Would you like to be friends? Oh no. Oh no. So for those of you that don't, uh, can't catch the streams or whatnot, recently did a Korintar into Castanath game on stream. Uh, link down to the Twitch down below in the description. Um, and there was a great conqueror, Ivavar, that refused to die. Uh, their queen refused to die. She ruled for hundreds of years before I, I just quit the campaign and made my life a living hell. <laughs> As we did countless wars against the, uh, the elves, just over and over and over again. Millions and millions of people died. It was quite insane. Quite insane. So that's going to be uh, scary for everyone else. doesn't really matter for me, but it'll be scary. Uh, all right, so one people, one country. The green tide beset upon us with a ferocious savagery, and those tribes were too stubborn to join the Verdant Pact found themselves annihilated. Now that the wars have ceased and our homeland is no longer under threat, there are some who mutter about a desire to return to the old ways. However, most have come to see the value of solidarity and realize that the Deep Woods cannot insulate us from the world as it has done in the past. We must become as one people, all willing to sacrifice for our adopted home, lest the tides of change sweep us away. Stab cost modifier, minus 15%. Not too shabby. Now that brings us up to uh, 120 discipline. Oh, it's the military power now. Okay, well, uh, we're going to have to complete that one in the next one because we are out of time for today. So we will continue our mission tree next time. There it is. Religious unity, 100%. Um, and you know what? I think next time might be the, uh, the final episode. This was always going to be a shorter campaign. Uh, and so, yeah, that will be quite interesting to see. In fact, I think I'm just going to, uh, return that back to them. I don't want it. So I would like to thank you all for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.